Hi, um, my name is Anel. Um, a little bit of uh, backstory. I was diagnosed at birth, and um, my parent, my doctors always told my parents that at some point I, w I was going to need a, a transplant, a kidney transplant. And in July of 1986, when I was 12 years old, um, that's that was the time that I um, started dialysis. And then exactly a month later, um, I received a kidney transplant in August of 1996. Um, so, so far I've been 23 years post-transplant and I'm currently um, between stage three and stage four of kidney disease. And then um, now I wanna talk about a little bit about how I did to prepare for being in this um, shelter in place. Um, the first thing I did was make sure that I had plenty of medication on hand. Um, as a post-transplant, I depend on um, immunosuppressants to keep my transplant going, um, for my body not to be uh, strong enough to fight this, this kidney that is not origin originally mine. Um, so what I did, I called my pharmacy, my um, different pharmacies because that's, um, I use different pharmacies to get my medication. So I called, spoke to the pharmacist, um, so the pharmacist can override for extra medication. I wanted to make sure I had one to two, three months um, additional medication on hand, just in case, um, because things are so uncertain right now, just in case it, uh, you know, the pharmacies has to shut down for whatever reason. So I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of medication to keep me going for the next three months. And then the next thing I did was contact my doctor. I had a few doctor appointments scheduled for the month of March and April. And I contacted my doctor to make sure that, you know, if it was safe for me to come in or what were my, what were my alternatives. Luckily, um, my doctor said, you know what, you don't have to come in right now. Um, we only want to see patients that are, um, you know, that have symptoms or things like that. We can reschedule your appointment. So my appointments have been rescheduled. Uh, but again, having that um, contact with my doctor, making sure that I keep constant communication with, with my doctors to make sure that um, my kidney still, my transplant is still functioning. Uh, and then after that, um, I, for me, has been important to keep a routine. Um, I use uh, the, the time blocking method uh, to keep me on track of things that I need to do throughout the day. So I've been working from home for, this is the fourth week, so about a month. And the first week was um, very stressful for me. I didn't plan my day. I was watching the news the entire time and I was just panicking with a lot of anxiety. But then I decided to not watch the news anymore. Uh, just, you know, keep, stay updated, but not obsessively watch the news. And then I also um, wanted to keep a routine. So I created a schedule for myself to stay on track. Um, so my schedule kind of looks like this. Um, waking up and then going for a walk with my husband. And then after that, like around 7.30, shower, eat breakfast, get ready, and get ready for the day. Um, 8.30, start work. And throughout my day, um, I listen to positive podcasts um, to just stay positive. And then I take a break around 10, 15, and then um, continue working from 10.30 to about one o'clock, one to 2 p.m. I take lunch. And um, from two to five, I continue working. And I end my, my work day at 5 p.m. From five to six, I cook dinner. And um, I have dinner with my family from 6 to 9 p.m. I usually do homework, watch a movie, um, watch funny YouTube videos. I bake or I craft. Um, I usually, I like um, decorating my planner or doing some crafting. 
Um, and then around 9 or 10 p.m., I go to sleep. And then um, other things that I have done is uh, making sure that I do some self-care. Um, I love to cook and bake. Prior to the self-isolation, um, I didn't have much time to do anything other than work and being stuck in traffic. Um, so I, I'm taking this as an opportunity to do some of the stuff that I really like doing, such as cooking, baking, um, crafting, watching some of my favorite movies um, and TV shows and relaxing. And um, the most important thing is for me to stay home, not go out other than just for the morning walk. Um, the morning walk, I try to do it at, at a time where I know there isn't a lot of people out, so um, I don't have to face that, um, I guess, that issue of like coming into contact with somebody. Um, I'm lucky that my husband um, is able to go to the grocery store and shop for groceries, but I've also been using delivery, um, delivery services, so that neither me or my husband have to go out. And another thing that I do do um, is wash my hands often as recommended. I've been doing that for, since I can remember. And, um, and also cleaning the surfaces, making sure that the surfaces have been sanitized every single day. And that's pretty much all I do. Excellent. Uh, thanks Thank so much. You. So many useful tips. And um, I'm so thrilled that you're using this time to really uh, learn something new, bake and enjoy yourself and avoid LA traffic. That could be quite yeah. difficult. 